from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big home edition of LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022, alive on air from Santa Monica, California. We'll go over the latest details on the big stimulus package and those delivery dates of your stimulus checks. They've gone out and viewers have gotten it. Have you got to them? All the latest details on the delivery of your fourth stimulus and third stimulus MSC checks. Then we look to the breaking details of that student loan debt forgiveness. The delivery date on that situation. The latest de delivery date on the six stimulus checks. And the breaking news, if you heard it live on air on Mornings LA today at 9 a.m., the delivery date potentially with a fifth stimulus surprise. Oh boy, that delivery date could potentially be 24 hours away. I have the latest details on that. That surprised everyone. Then we'll be going back to the Build Back Better Act, and that that incredible sums of news. And Home LA is back in full force. We go from our I Stand with Ukraine edition, still on point, to a new version when we look forward to Easter. We'll go over in the second half how to prepare for Easter and those Easter meals you love and endure. If you're on the live chat, write what type of Easter meals you like. But in this recording, Four Stimulus heats up with those delivery dates. I'll go over the delivery dates and when people are getting checks. What's the lead time on those checks? Third Stimulus, those MSC checks and those monthly checks averaging $2,000 a month for 12 months. What's the delivery time on those? And then we'll be looking at six stimulus and seven stimulus. A lot of stimulus packages. You want to know the dates? I have the latest on them across the land. Then we'll get a preview of what's happening this week because there's going to be a lot of major announcements by the White House. And I want you to know all those incredible sums of money. From the West Coast to the East Coast, from the high to the low, all the incredible details start right now on Home Edition LLX. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. And boy, what a big recording we have today. In Home Edition 2022 today, we're going to go over the delivery dates on those big checks. We're going over the delivery date on the fourth stimulus checks, the delivery date on the MSC third stimulus checks, and what we would likely see for seven stimulus and six stimulus. A lot in today's recording. It's Home Edition. You know how we do it. The first half of this recording is about your money, and the second half is about... Home decor, food, and more, and we're getting a preview and a walk down and a step down before Easter. You all loved that holiday edition for Christmas on this channel, so Easter's just around the corner, so we're going to bring it to there as well in today's recording. But first, we're going to start with those delivery dates. It's important to know, and it's important to know what they are. One of the most important things when you're reporting on a new story is you have to inform the viewer what something is, and they have to make sure that they're up to date on the issue. Let's go over where we are right now. Fourth stimulus add-on checks have landed. They've landed in people's hands. And so the delivery date on those fourth stimulus checks is about one to two weeks after you bounce to get them. It became a law four weeks ago when the President of the United States, by executive branch, not by legislative branch, made a law fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks to members of this channel. And the lead time on once you apply, once you seek those checks is about one to two weeks out. So pencil it in. Now, that is when you pounce. You don't want to wait on these checks because it's first come, first serve. Let's go over the incredible details on these big checks. The President of the United States made this law about four weeks ago. And it's been four weeks since its enactment. So it's important to activate that membership to become a member right today and to get those checks uh, sought for as soon as possible because it's not unlimited sums of fun. Once you do, this is what happens. The members of this channel have gotten paid about two weeks after uh, after getting their applications in. So Mark got 66000 The average payout is fifteen to 80000 How do you get these checks? Let's go over all the incredible details right now. This is the homeowner's grant, and it's fifteen dollars to $80,000 made law by the President of the United States four weeks ago. 
And the eligibility is the same as a stimulus check, thirty seventy five thousand less single individual, you can get it. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand less, you can get it. Family afford or double. No, you don't double or quadruple it. It's per household, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. How do you get it? You become a member. The links at the top of the chat in the pin comment. It's featured in the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, seven p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. Once you become a member, you go right into that membership newsletter. And right in there, it features the four stimulus. You want to click the link and go right in and apply. Now, it's going to first give you the complete name of the whole program, longer than Homeowners Grant. It's a longer name than that. Then it's going to go over the eligibility. We just went over that. 75000 less, single individual, or 150000 less, married couple. And then it's going to go over what you can get this money for. Things like home repairs and other great items. It's also featured, all featured in the membership newsletter. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans, you can get it as well. Then what you also want to know is how to apply. So when you open that membership newsletter, deliver via the YouTube alert system on Monday through Friday, you click the link and it goes right into the national website, which will then send you to the state of your choosing where you're located and you pounce. You get that in as quickly as possible. The average wait time, again, is about one to two weeks to get a get funded once you get your application on file it's going to say approved and that is the great news because once you're approved and then you're just waiting for the money now remember every day that passes thousands of people in your state get in front of you so it's sort of like that eidl sort of like that pua or the ui the faster you get in the faster you get approved the longer you wait to get in the longer it could be approved so if you're watching this video let's say two weeks after this airs you're going to have potentially add an extra week to my lead times for delivery dates this is at the time of today recording for March 27th, 2022. This is the lead times right now. Now, if you're not an owner of a home, but a renter, I got money for you as well. And I'll go over those lead times right now. It is those monthly, uh, monthly stimulus checks, MSC, baby. MSC checks are available for third stimulus for both renters and homeowners. Now let's take a step back. You got a third stimulus check of $1,400, but did you know you can go back now and get an MSC? You can. And the average for this channel is getting $2,000 a month for 12 months. It's astronomical. What is this? This is homeowners. This is homeowners or renters. Uh, utilities bills, rental assistance, or mortgage assistance because of COVID, and similar items across the board. You're going to reach out to a series of places. If you're a member, it's going to be 15 plus places. If it's, you're not a member, it's going to be less places, like about six. Your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, your county house authority, and state hall and state house authority. And the key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Those are the three, those are the key words you say. And if you are a member, you open that membership newsletter, you go right down in there. Six places in the membership newsletter plus the five nonprofits. So you're going to have upwards of about 12 plus different places to reach out to. What is the delivery date on these? The delivery date on these is about one week after you get that approval. So it's absolutely incredible. The average view of this channel gets about a 50% approval rate. So you're going to reach out to, let's say, about 12 places. You're going to fund about six. And there you go. Now, if you can reach out to more, feature the newsletter, yes. Then 15 places, you get a 50% approval rating, about, approval rating, about seven of them. And the funding is incredible. Once you get approval, the checks arrive on the month every month automatically so you don't have to do anything let's go over some of the success stories we have countless viewers like the march 25th uh live march 25th evenings la broadcast that had three viewers in the live chat who within three minutes collectively got one hundred thousand dollars and that is the success story that abounds we had one viewer overnight at jme who got twenty thousand dollars but let's look at that, that March 25th recording. On that March 25th recording, we had three viewers. The first one was Daniel, who is on it, benefits, SSI and SSDI. He got $60,000. So he got electricity, water, gas, and rent. So that was four different phone calls he had to make. We had Corey, who got $14,000. That's 14 months. And then we had William J., who got $10,000. Uh, that day in, day out, we have viewers averaging about $2,000 a month for 12 months. So once you get approved, the lead time is very easy. They're automatic. They come every single month. Like in the case of Maria Ramirez, she's getting $1,500 every month for 12 months. So she knows exactly it's arriving every single month, this MSE check. Now, 
for stimulus, build back better, not law, but will it become law? Yes. How soon? We'll see. We will see. Joe Manchin is featured in that morning's broadcast late early this morning today, said that he's ready to negotiate again. So really exciting news. That has the potential of having an IRS MSC check in there as the legislators have represented to you across the board. Let's look at some other delivery dates. What is next up after this fourth stimulus, fifteen dollars to $80,000 checks, and these third stimulus checks? The next thing that is likely up for grabs is that six stimulus. Six stimulus is the largest stimulus package you've seen of a generation, and it's likely as early as April. Why? Because it's a trifecta at issue. Germany, France, United States. It, we're waiting to see if France's President Macron is re-elected in Germany. If he, if France's president is reelected in Germany, yeah, if France's president is reelected in France, that's yeah, you know, that's sort of where he is. If he's reelected in April, then guess what? Your trifecta of France, Germany, and United States is lined up. They're going to do this. This is going to be the biggest stimulus package of a lifetime. Bigger than the first, bigger than the Obama Biden stimulus package, which was predating COVID. That was the largest at that time. And it's because we can't sustain where we are right now. You can't sustain $5 a gallon of gasoline. You can't sustain $6 a loaf of bread. And that's because we got off of Russian products. Six stimulus is because of Putin. And this heats up in the month of April. Now, you're going to see potentially before that the delivery dates of six stimulus from your state or from your Congress sooner. Congress already introduced a piece of legislation last week. It was a joke. It was a hundred dollar check, stimulus checks for for gasoline. It's a joke because that's not even you know half a tank of gas one time. What's they give you a check for one half a time? You're also going to see your governors potentially move faster than the federal government or this trifecta. The governors are doing a lot of them, and I can't cover them on this channel. But let me show you the landscape. You're going to have. France, Germany, United States is this trifecta. And then you're going to have the United States with the federal version of six stimulus. And then you have your governors, which I'm not going to cover, coming in, uh, you know, left and right at different time elements. That's April. What is May? May is absolutely confirmed and penciled in as a due date. It's a date for a check, for not particularly a check, but for something that puts money in your hand. What is it? It's student loan debt forgiveness. That student loan debt forgiveness has a May 2nd date. This is seven stimulus featured on all the broadcasts on this channel. Seven stimulus has a May 2nd date. This is a date in which you're going to learn whether you're going to be saved thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. You're not going to get check back. You're just going to be saved thousands or tens of thousands of dollars if it happens. Let's go over the details of it. During the pandemic, they put the repayment of student loan debt on, on moratorium, so you don't have to repay it. And that moratorium is ending when? <laughs> May 2nd. So Joe Biden's chief of staff, Ron Klein, says, we're going to decide by May 2nd if we're going to extend the moratorium or we're going to let, let lift and we're going to do student loan debt forgiveness. So this could be 5000 it could be 10000 it could be 50000 as Liz Warren and Chuck Schumer have asked for you're not going to get checked back of $50,000. You could potentially get your existing debt that's sitting on the books there forgiven of massive sums of money. And that is a May 2nd delivery date on that stimulus package, number seven. So far in this recording, we've covered the third. We've covered the fourth. We've now covered the seventh. What about the fifth? <laughs> this is very fascinating. I had always told you in recent days, as, as early as yesterday, that fifth looks like, you know, it's later in the horizon, it's longer out. Why? Because it's a bill. They haven't done the bill yet. Student, the fifth stimulus is the SSI reform, raising your benefits up and all those elements. Now, fifth stimulus has had these different versions of it. So let me slow this down because it may be confusing for you. First, swapping COLA for inflation was supposed to be part of fifth stimulus, but we've been taking it out of it and say, Joe, all it takes is pulling up the Social Security Administrator, swapping COLA for inflation. This is likely, potentially, the next thing on the plate right now. In fact, you want it right now. Why do you want it right now? Because you want it to be done in March, this month. And at worst, late April. You want it done right now. Why? Because inflation is the highest price point of a generation right now. Swapping out COLA for inflation should be done now. Let's take a step back. Joe Biden, when he ran for president, then when he became president-elect, put in his platform at JoeBiden.com to swap COLA for inflation. Well, you want that swap to happen now in the month of March, at the latest in April, because inflation is tracking its highest price point of a generation, 8% December. 
January, 8% that the U.S. bond traders are right. It's trading even higher right now because they're trading up the 10-year Treasury note thinking that inflation is even hotter. If you swapped out COLA for inflation now in March, that would lock in $200 more per month, not just this month, not just this year, a lifetime, huge. So you want to lock in that $200 now when inflation is 8% now before inflation comes down when? <laughs> when Jay Powell gets more aggressive. The FOMC meeting, which happened last week for the March of 2022, was quarter basis point. Good. But Jay Powell, in a series of new comments later this last week with the economic conference, said he may have to go to half basis point thereafter if it didn't work. Well, you want him to do that before Joe makes that swap for cold inflation, because guess what? If you wait, inflation could drop dramatically, 6%. 6% is not $200 a month. It's $175 approximately. So make that swap for cold and inflation right now. What about that extra $100, that SS300? Well, that's confusing. Let me explain what's confusing about it. A month ago, Jay Powell said we're going to go to 4% inflation by December. Your benefits are re reassessed every December based upon your benchmark. And if inflation is 4% in December, good. That's an extra $100 starting next January, a lifetime, SS300. But what did Jay Powell say this week? He said he wants to reduce inflation not to 4% to 1.9%. That's only $50 more per month. Yeah. So we will see if he gets it to 1.9 or 4. Here's my takeaway of the situation. I don't think he has the tools. I don't think he can get it to 1.9%. So if that's the case, guess what happens? You're still staying at 4%, and that would be a SS100 across the board on top of whatever we get now, SS200. What's important for you to understand is that these numbers are very, very important, and you need to stay on point. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over more about the other items that you need to know and those delivery checks. We have a lot coming up. For first, here's the member community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. Meantime, during the commercial break, become a member and also jump in the live chat what items you want for that Easter meal. See you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues in the big second half of a home edition uh, live from Santa Monica today. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over more about these incredible checks. And I'll be jumping in the live chat and answering your questions. So if you have questions about the checks, get ready to rock and roll. I'm here to answer them. And then we're going to go over the second half of that preparing for that Easter meal. If you're new to home LA, that's what it's about. We also stay on point with I stand your Ukraine. I'll go into the latest situation folding with Ukraine. Here we go in the second half. Well, so far, we have those third stimulus MSC checks landing. And once you get approved, they're automatic every single month. So you don't have to do anything. The fourth stimulus, $15,000 to $80,000 checks, if you remember the links at the top of the channel, the pinned comment, 
are paying out about one to two weeks after you apply at the time of today's recording. Every day that goes by, the lead time may be slower because more people are getting in the system to get these incredible checks, fifteen dollars to $80,000. When we talk about the six stimulus package, April is likely the start date, but the seven stimulus for that student loan debt forgiveness, we do have a date. It's May 2nd. We actually have that confirmed by the President's Chief of Staff. The determination of student loan debt to be done, that is the date we would hear the determination, otherwise rolling it over. I think he's either going to forgive the debt or he's going to roll it over, but I think it's more likely he forgives the debt. That is May 2nd. Wow. Now, let's go over the other parts of the equation. When would the Build Back Better Act get a delivery date? We don't have that yet because it's not a law. That's number one. And what about that CR? Well, that CR, Joe Biden's coming back with another piece of CR this week that would fund COVID that could potentially have a stimulus check in there. I don't know the time frame on that. And the problem is I don't know how he's going to get it done as a series of comments are. You know what? He does not have bipartisan support for COVID. So we don't know if that actually has a finish line across the board. But here's what everything else that you need to know where we are right now. When we look at the situation, it's important to get the check that's available right at that very moment. Third stimulus MSC checks available right now. Fourth stimulus MS checks available right now. If you're a rent or homeowner, you get covered on this channel. You can get both of these checks if you are a homeowner. And if you're a renter, you get that, that third stimulus check right now. If you're looking for other checks like that SS300, then we're waiting, we're really pushing with hashtag Joe make the call. He makes the call, then that would kick in about 30 days from whence the commissioner makes the determination. Let's say Joe made the phone call today. A social security administrator swap cola for inflation today. It's likely a 30 to 60 day rollout time until you'd see that additional $200 a month, not just this month, but lifetime generational. And then additional $100 if that's what inflation is at 4% by the end of the year starting next January. That would be that delivery date. And the breaking news that you saw on Mornings LA today is that Joe Biden is proposing a new 20% minimum billionaire's tax. This looks like the wealth tax that Elizabeth Warren proposed on the campaign trail and what she proposed just last year. She wanted to use this wealth tax to pay for the stimulus. This is really interesting. So we don't know how this is going to work out. It's going to be debuted tomorrow by the White House. I have a preview of it. And to reduce the national debt by $1.3 trillion. Is it also to provide funding for something else like Liz Warren originally wanted this for? We don't know. And I don't even know how it's teed up for vote. So we're going to see this tomorrow. What about those, those supplemental checks? We've heard about these governors with their gas tank gas ta uh, checks. And then we've seen those congressmen with those gas checks. It, you know, in the case of the congressman, I don't think that's going to fly at the moment. It looks sort of illogical. In the case of your state governors, it's dependent on each state. So I don't cover it on this channel. And meantime, for that county stimulus that was in those CR in that CR from three weeks ago, reach out to your local county across the board. Wow. Um, what's important to understand is that stimulus packages overlap. They overlap. And as you see on this channel in the last week, sometimes they go backwards and forwards. You never thought that you would still see more checks from third stimulus, let alone MSCs. And then you never knew that fourth stimulus had this fifteen dollars to $80,000 checks if you just found this channel because you were watching Build Back and you didn't know that this separate piece of legislation came out. That's what I do on this channel. I make sure you get every single check as soon as it becomes live. I want to use delivery dates as example with EIDL for four stimulus right now. EIDL, had, when it had grants, they often open to reopen or close and then reopen. When they reopened, if you applied the day it reopened, you got funded by the next day. If you waited one day, it took five days to get funded. If you waited three days, it was out of money. <laughs> That's how delivery dates work when programs don't have unlimited funds of money. The great news is that if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or wearable benefits, everything I've covered for you is, is covered in the scope of what I've just discussed. Now, Let's turn to some of your questions. If you have any questions, jump in the live chat right now. I'll answer your questions you may have about any of these stimulus packages. And then we're going to turn to the big second half of this, of this video. Um, Lynn Glenn says, push, we need that raise for SSI and SSDI. Absolutely, you do need it across the board. Um, and let's see some of the other questions. Um, here's Sandy talking about singing. <laughs> of course. Uh, if you have any questions about any singles packages, jump in the live chat right now. Um, 
well, uh, Ken Van Wagoner. So Ken has a great question. Ken is uh, uh, talking about moving on particular packages. Now, if you uh, are a member, you can reach out to the community page, member community page for assistance. But here's what you need to know is that if you're a member and you want that fourth stimulus check, that fifteen to eighty thousand dollars, you don't reach out to the community page at all for that. You pounce immediately and get your application file. You don't wait a second. You don't ask your friends. You don't think about it. You apply immediately. You don't wait for anything. Next, uh, city hall, county, uh, city hall, city house authority, county hall, county house authority, state hall, and state house authority. All feature the membership newsletter. So as a member, the first thing you do is you open that membership newsletter. It features those six places. You reach out to each of those six places. You go on you go on Google, you look up their phone numbers, and you call your places yourself. Then the five or six nonprofits feature the membership newsletter. You reach out to them yourself. You pick up the phone and you call charity number one, feature the membership newsletter. Here I am. And then you say the keyword, rent assistance because of COVID. You say those keywords, made very easy. The wonders of the membership newsletter is it's made very easy for you. In the case of the, the nonprofits, for example, in the newsletter, you see the name, you pick up the phone, you t speak to the phone, say, call this charity. And then it calls the charity. Then you say, hi, I need rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage assistance because of COVID. I need nominal home repairs, which they also do, like a broken window or glass. The newsletter tells you everything you need to do. You don't want to reach out to volunteers to tell you the phone number of something. You can do that yourself. You don't want to reach out to the volunteers and say, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, you do, because it's featured all in the membership newsletter. You can get it yourself. You don't want to wait, because this is first come, first serve for all this grab of some somebody. And there you go. Now, let me go over to I Stand With Ukraine, the six, six stimulus. Staying on point with what Home Ally has been for the last Two months as the Russia-Ukraine war goes on, I stand with Ukraine edition, is what is in the elements of six stimulus and where do they need to go and where are they not and are. This is the real meat and potatoes of the largest stimulus package you're going to see of a generation. Before COVID, the largest stimulus package was the Obama-Biden uh, stimulus package to bail out the failing, the failing banking industry. Then when COVID came along, first stimulus was. This is going to be the largest. Why? Because so many industries are impaired at the moment because of Vladimir Putin. Let's go over each of them and what the White House needs to do. Number one, the wheat, grain, soybeans, corn, the commodity industry. You cannot afford $6 a loaf of bread indefinitely. And if you're not paying that, you're going to pay it very soon. Why? Because there's a shortage of wheat and grain because it's harvested in the area of the Black Sea, where the farmers are battling a war. They're not harvesting their crops. This crop is lost this season. Next season's crop is lost as well because they can't irrigate or crop, prepare the crop. And crops can be lost for years to come because it's been cluster bombed. So back in the States, no matter how much our farmers can ramp up production, it doesn't supply enough. So the White House needs to do something else, like giving subsidies to farmers to increase production beyond what they can do. Let me give you part of the analysis of why this is so big. If you don't solve the loaf of bread, I'm going to make this very basic, you don't solve the loaf of bread, and you as a consumer have to pay $5 a loaf for now to May, we go to recession. If our partner countries have the same problem and we don't, they go to recession and they pull us into recession. So that's why they have to really solve this. And the great news is that in the last 48 hours, after I have been making this recording for two months about the problems that are at issue in six months, the White House finally addressed wheat, saying, yes, it's a major problem. We have a shortage and people will go, will go hungry. But the problem is a little bit more elaborate than this. Let me tell you what's going on. Our farmers could increase production, but they need more assistance because their costs are out of control. If you ask a mom and pop farmer right today, they're selling their, their wheat for a lot more money. There's a shortage. They can sell for more money, but they're making less money. Why? It costs more money to drive the tractor trailer with gasoline, more for gas. And then the fertilizer comes from Vladimir Putin. There's no fertilizer from Putin now, so now the price of fertilizer is going up. They're making less money, the farmers. This is why the White House needs to step in and solve the situation. The second part of the six stimulus is the situation for gasoline. The price of gasoline is trending down slowly <laughs> at the price by price at, at the gas pump. 425 to 424. It is so small, it's ridiculous. Although the price of gasoline internationally, Brent crude is surging to its highest levels we've seen in about a few days. 
it reaches highest price point of, of this entire channel's history 127 last week it's 120 right now so why is this happening the short of gasoline because of Vladimir Putin was thought to be solved on this channel a week ago when the White House announced a deal for six stimulus that would get 1.5 million barrels of gasoline into world economies, including ours, by December and a half by half a million by April, May. It's a deal for Iran. So if that deal is there, why is these prices going up? not particularly clear across the board. Remember, not the enough of gasoline that could be produced domestically to solve our problems or our partner allies' problems. There you go. Then the third part of the six stimulus, of course, is the banking industry. The banking industry has big exposure because guess what? They have investment in Russian bonds and data and equities. And as Russian economy is about likely to become devalued or valueless or credit worthyless, then guess what? Your local bank could be in trouble going under because they may have done business with a U.S. bank that has major corporate losses. And we don't know that just yet until we see their earnings reports. Now, it's home edition. You know how home edition works. Second half of this video is often about, is often about decor, food, skincare, more. And we're coming back on point. And here, let's go over the details. You love that holiday edition with Santa and the surfboard. Well, get ready for the Easter edition. It's coming in a few days. And let me jump in the live chat. What do you like to do for Easter for your meal? What is your favorite Easter meal? And what is your most unfavorite Easter meal? Let me jump in the live chat and see some of the comments across the board. Um, let's see what some of the people are doing. Um, and uh, let's... Uh, and if you have a question or comment about any of these seamless packages as well, and jump in there as well. Um, what I like to do for Easter is lamb. I really do like Easter for lamb. And the price point of lamb is not as expensive as you think because lamb is important. <laughs> There's your supply chain analysis. Lamb comes from New Zealand or Australia, and it's not particularly that expensive because it is frozen. It's not It's not fresh because you don't have lambs walking down the street here and Sam <laughs> uh, It's frozen lamb, and it's really quite delicious. Now, uh, uh, least, least Easter meal is always Italian wedding soup, it says uh, Dragon. Easter pie, lamb, and vegetables. Wow. So um, what is Italian wedding soup, and what is Easter pie? We all want to know, Dragon. That does sound good. Um, what else does people have for uh, their Easter meals? Let me jump in some of the other chat questions. Cynthia, has the fourth stimulus been sent out to those like myself who aren't on SSI? Great question for Cynthia. So I get that type of question all the time. Do the SSI people, when are their checks coming? One of the things this channel was put on the map for was one month into this channel's existence, I recorded a video, which has now been one of the most watched videos ever in the financial news space of YouTube. It got 3 million views. What was the video about? that everyone on SSI and SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits, gets everything else like everyone else. Because somewhere along the line, someone told people that if you're on SSI, you get treated differently. It's not the case. So for Cynthia, your fourth stimulus check arrives just like everyone's else. Currently, the fourth stimulus check, if you just joined the live chat, is that homeowner's grant. If you're a member, become a member. The link's at the top of the chat and in the pinned comment. It's fifteen dollars to $80,000 checks. And those checks are payable to people on benefits like SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, or veterans benefits. If you make less than seventy-five thousand, less, marry a couple less than one hundred fifty thousand, and own your own home. Okay, let's say you don't own your own home, then the third stimulus MSC checks are landing. And one of those viewers in that big broadcast on the twenty-fifth of May, a few days ago was in the live chat, and guess what? He said, tell the viewers. Make sure you tell the viewers. He was right. Make sure you tell the viewers that I'm on SSI, and I got $60,000 of checks. His name was Daniel, and he says, thank you, LA. I got electricity, water, gas as a renter on SSI, and he got $60,000 of checks. So, for if you're on benefits, it's nothing different for the equation than anyone else. Great question. Uh, there is other people talking about their incredible meals for Easter. We have um, Donna. Easter dinner is a glazed ham. Oh, I used to love that. That sounds wonderful. Sweet potatoes, hot peppercorn. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That sounds good. Rolls and cherry dessert. That sounds wonderful. Uh, uh, Sandy says, I like my special mashed potatoes and real butter. Um, loads of sour cream. Onion powder. Oh, that sounds wonderful, Sandy. 
and then peppery optional and then rob loves it la <laughs> I, I thought this sentence read rob loves la i guess he doesn't i guess he doesn't love me he likes the mashed potatoes better than me i'm very offended rob you like the mash you like sandy's mashed potatoes better than la <laughs> there's lynn glenn hi lynn glenn uh everybody push 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 absolutely we have a um, bath we have ham lemon meringue oh bath that sounds good uh, mom's, oh, excuse me, lemon jello with carrots, salted, and a veggie and a potato. Uh, the carrots, are the carrots in the lemon? <laughs> in the jello? I, I, is lemon jello with carrot? I guess lemon jello with carrots. Okay, I got, I got, I got lost in that sentence because a lot of stuff in that sentence sounds really good. Uh, Bonnie, prime rib. Oh, Bonnie, got my, got my heart. <laughs> prime rib. Twice baked potatoes. Ooh, twice baked potatoes. I've <laughs> I've never tried. I've never done that. That sounds wonderful. Veggie salads, rolls, and dessert. Turkey is our favorite. Oh, turkey is our last favorite. Yeah. So let's go over what's the less least favorite for Easter. I think turkey is. I think I I, I think turkey is the least favorite for Easter. Um, <laughs> what's the next least favorite for Easter? I, you know, I like a ham, but I just don't think it's special enough for Easter. Um, so I like something a little bit, unless you do it up a, a, another notch. Um, <laughs> there's Sandy says, Rob likes you and the mashed potatoes, Ally. So don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. I appreciate it. Um, uh, let's see some of the other things. Um, Frida, I, uh, to get to the community page, but I can't get in touch with anyone. So Frida, when you go to the community page, um, if you're a member, you click the link and you go in there. The, 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 the member community page is features members who can help you with certain items and other items. What you need to know is when you're reaching out to the members, make sure you do what is said in the videos. So if, let's say, for example, if you're a member and you're asking for something which the members know to put you sort of to the back of the line, they'll respond slower. Let me give you an example. Let's say um, you reach out to the member community page and you say, can you help get me, can you um, apply for that $80,000 of, of uh, homeowner's grant for me? Can you apply for me? They're, they're not even going to respond. Their job is not, to, is not to apply for anyone. They don't apply for you. They'll help show you, show you something, but they're not going to do the work for you. Um, if you're a member and you reach out to them and say, can you tell me what the six places are uh, to reach out to? Uh, no, it's in the membership newsletter. They're not going to respond very quickly to that. But if you ask them something like, you know, I reached out to the six places and I reached out to the five uh, uh, the five nonprofits and something's going wrong because I don't think I'm doing it right, then they'll respond because it shows you put the effort in. If you don't show you're putting the effort in, then, then they're not going to prioritize you in, in the response. But great question across the board. Um, there's Janet. How are you, Janet? She has reservations at Joe's Crab Cake on Clearwater Beach. Oh, how wonderful. That sounds wonderful, Janet. Uh, today, my wife and I, my wife is barbecuing chicken made with mac salad, garlic bread. Dessert is banana cream pie. She loves a cook, Virgil. Oh, my goodness. That sounds wonderful, the banana cream pie. Everything's about bananas in this, in this gel. We hear banana bread, banana cream pie. I just... <laughs> and um let's see some of the other great stuff across the board so there you go what a great recording that was um let me uh and uh, oh, uh let me uh, uh frida uh, frida look to dragon his her comment was held her comment was held. uh frida uh, uh dragon just says contact me on the community page uh dragon will help you so dragons on the live chat so let's recap delivery date on on checks Third stimulus MSC checks. Delivery time is now. You have to make the effort to go get them. <laughs> Not automatic. Once you get them approved, they are automatic. They're coming every single month, every single month on the month. And the average view of this channel is getting $2,000 a month for 12 months. Huge. Fourth stimulus, those homeowners grants, fifteen dollars to $80,000. Are you a member of the chat? Link is at the top of the chat and pinned comment. Uh, that homeowners grant, the lead time, the delivery time is about two weeks at the moment at today's, today's recording, which is March 27th. So if you get approved, to, if you get your application in today, it's about two weeks to getting funded. Remember, once you get the application, it says, a, it says complete. And then after that, it's funding. Now, as this wears on, if you're watching this video a month later after it aired, let's say you're watching this video in April or May, you're going to have to add time to that lead time because a lot of people have been ahead of you. 
Um, the least people ahead of you, the better. The time that today's recording, it's only been about three weeks the program's been live. Then we're going to see uh, if Joe makes that swap for cola inflation. That could be right in March or April. We're going to see what he's doing with that billionaire's tax next week. That could fund that this stimulus and suddenly bring it out of, you know, hibernation to really front page news again. And then the sixth stimulus is April because we're looking to see Macron's re-election. And then May, we certainly have that date for that student loan debt forgiveness, seven symbols. That is that May 2nd date. Coming up next is that afternoon's edition, one o'clock. Then we got a brand new afternoon's show at evening o'clock, at three o'clock. And then we got Evenings L.A. Evenings L.A., America's most watched financial show, new show in prime time. A five o'clock Pacific Standard Time, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You don't want to miss tonight's show at all. If you've not become a member, become a member. The link's at the top of the channel, the pinned comment. Thank you for your incredible questions. And join me daily on Home Edition, coming back in full force, staying on point with I Stand, stand With Ukraine. I don't know if you can see the shirt. Oh, now you can. I Stand With Ukraine, still staying on, on message with that. But easing into our Easter version, which looks will look a little bit like the holiday Christmas version. And with that, thank you for your great questions. I think it's time for some double baked potatoes and some time for that banana cream pie. Sounds wonderful. <clears throat> I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat. <laughs> I'll see you at one o'clock. This video will automatically take you to the next show at one o'clock. And then we go into a brand new afternoon to LA at three o'clock. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.